Evening VC, Dave here. Uh, so sure, just did a give me 10 or, well, give me a baker's dozen live jazz albums from the 1970s. So I was just flipping through to see what uh, what popped out of the shelves here. Um, first up, McCoy Tyner, Enlightenment on the Milestone label. <laughs> this is one hell of a dynamic record from McCoy Tyner. Uh, never forget Teddy showing this uh, years back one of the first records I saw out after seeing one of Teddy's videos and was not disappointed um, Azar Lawrence is here um, and he's got some couple great solo albums that I have um, Alphonse Muzan on the drums uh, Juni Booth on bass <sighs> yeah this one uh, Leave it's at uh, the Montreux Jazz Festival, yeah, 1973, uh, double record, um, gatefold. Yeah, I had this one a long time. This is a uh, this is a great one. Gets a lot of spins. Next is uh, one that's uh, volume one and two, uh, Max Roach Quartet live in Tokyo. So this is volume one, uh, original on what, Denon? Yeah, Denon from Japan. Um, Cecil Bridgewater in this lineup and, and Billy Harper, Reggie Workman. Um, one of the sickest lineups in the 70s, for sure, um, with Max on the drums. Uh, what year was this? God, I can't remember, 1977. At uh, Yobin Choken Hall in Tokyo. Uh, they do a version of Round Midnight. This is just fire on the B side. Um, this is amazing. And then uh, Volume 2 is interesting. I came home from work and got a record in the mail. And uh, it was the day that we were having the uh, solar eclipse where at work it got dark. I forget what time, but it was weird. Um, we all went out to look at it, and I about blinded myself like freaking Trump. But um, this arrived in the freaking mail the same day as the solar eclipse. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the vinyl gods are real. Um, but yeah, this is basic. This is uh, volume two of Live in Tokyo. Gig in 77. Uh, just fucking what a, what a performance. This is this is way up there for me. Um, and then Sherb sure showed this record in you can get this five bucks, ten bucks. I've seen it in dollar bins, and it's it is exactly what Sherb sure said. It is fire. Dexter Gordon, homecoming. Live at the Village Vanguard, and uh, got a double album. And I'm only showing this briefly because sure, already gave this high praise. But um, I do have another album featuring Dexter Gordon, uh, and that is The Source, Jackie McLean with Dexter Gordon. And this was uh, what Dexter was up to prior to coming home for that gig at the Village Vanguard. He was overseas for an extended period, um, living well and, and, and playing quite a bit. And uh, this was live in Copenhagen at the uh, Mont Brennan Jazz House. And uh, great lineup. Um, Kenny Drew on piano, Niles Henning Orsted Peterson on bass, and Alex Reel on the drums, uh, underrated drummer, fantastic. Um, Dexter digs in. Yeah, on the B side, this, this, yeah, Dexter was digging in all right. This is this is a great one for cheap. You can get this for five, ten bucks too. Um, hell, I think Noble Records has a copy right now. That's on the Steeplechase label. Next is a, this one was a great find here at Lunchbox. I still can't believe these popped up. These trio records. Japanese Press, Elvin Jones, Jazz Machine, live in Japan, 1978. I've shown this before.
before, but uh, this is Frank Foster on tenor and soprano, uh, Pat LaBarbera on tenor, uh, Roland Prince on guitar, and Andy McLeod on bass. The B-side has a 2645 cut of a Love Supreme in two parts, and this is uh, live at uh, Yomuri Hall in Tokyo in uh, 1978. <laughs> this, the Love Supreme version is unbelievable. It's completely improvised, fantastic, fantastic record. Um, tough to find. Next is one that uh, my friend Joe and I were in uh, Carolina Soul up in Durham uh, going through the bins and they were playing this and my friend Joe asked him about it and they had it up on a special spot behind the counter where they're kind of showing off what they're playing and he bought the record and then I finally found a copy myself. Uh, it was blowing us away. Uh, it's Freddie Hubbard and Stanley Turrentine in concert, volume one on CTI. I think this was earlier 70s, if I'm not mistaken. It's a gatefold. Yeah, 73 at the Chicago Opera House. Uh, part of it, and then part of it's at the Ford Auditorium in Detroit in 73 also. Um, there's a part two that's uh, more led by Herbie Hancock, um, but this, this is straight fire, Ron Carter on bass. Herbie Hancock on piano, Jack Dejanet on drums, Eric Gale on the trumpet, um, I believe, well, yeah. No, Eric Gale's on guitar, sorry. Fred, Freddie's on trumpet, I'm losing my mind. Um, that, that's another one that's cheap. Um, great performance. Uh, the next, I have two versions of this, and this is one of my favorite live records ever. It's up there. Uh, very Another very cheap record. I, you can get these for like three bucks. Um, Hal Galper, Speak with a Single Voice. Uh, so this is live uh, from New Orleans in 78 at Rosie's. Um, so this is the German version, which I found up in Rochester at, uh, oh, which one did I find it at? It was in the, I think I dug it out of the basement at Bob Shop. Yeah, I did. It's on Enya. Uh, this is a different lineup um, from earlier on uh, with Hal. So the, he had the Brecker brothers here with Wayne Dockery on bass, Bob Moses on drums. Uh, this is Flames. Just they, they just burned this place to the ground. It was unbelievable. Um, now this only has four of the cuts from that gig. Whereas this one has all the cuts. This is the U.S. version um, on Century Records. And so, yeah, this has blue and green, whereas that other record does not. Um, now here, this is my favorite cut from Hal Galper that had uh, Terry Masahino and Tony Williams on that record on Enya. But uh, these guys that filled in in his group at the time nail it. Um, and then some fan fantastic record. I convention three bucks. You can't go wrong with this. Hal Gelfer Quintet speak with a single voice. Uh, this next one also found at Lunchbox. Um, this mm, yeah, this might be my all time favorite live record on uh, Flying Dutchman Ornette Live at Prince Street Friends and Neighbors. This is otherworldly from Ornette Coleman. Uh, Charlie Hayden on bass, Dewey Redmond on tenor, Ed Blackwell on the drums. Uh, Ornette also plays some trumpet and violin on this. Um, gatefold. This one, this one's a mind blower right here. Absolutely, absolutely just stunned me. Took me back. Uh, I couldn't believe what I was listening to. Um, this just goes all kinds of places that you don't expect. Um, love this record, love it. Next is one I just picked up and showed. Um, I'll show it again, Alice Coltrane live at Carnegie Hall in 1971. What I failed to mention last time is uh, this is just their version of John Coltrane's Africa. 
um, split to two sides. Um, you've got uh, Alice Coltrane, piano harp. Farrell Sanders is here. Archie Shep, Jimmy Garrison, Cecil McBee on bass. And Blackwell and Clifford Jarvis on the drums. Uh, you got a timbre and harmonium player here. Live at Carnegie, the B side is a mind blower. Next, one that's in the jazz section, but uh, one of the best rock records I have. Uh, Larry Coriel, Fairyland. It's original. Um, you know, the mega records. Put out by Flying the Flying Dutchman series. Um, trio. Larry never shredded harder than this. This is unreal. Uh, Montreux. 1971. Uh, Chuck Rainey on bass. Pretty Purdy on the drums. Just check this out. Another one that's super cheap. A couple versions of this with a, another version of this with a different cover. You can probably get a dollar bin. Another great one. Another cheap record. Uh, Gabor Zabo live with Charles Lloyd uh, featuring Spellbinder. This is this is fucking awesome. Uh, this is on Blue Thumb Records from 1974. Live at the Troubadour in Hollywood. Uh, yeah, Stormy on side two. Um, man, good shit. Uh, who else is on this with him? John Dents on drums. Charles Lloyd, of course, is playing the flute. Um, Wolfgang Meltz on bass. Tommy Ayer on keyboard. Tony Ortega on flute and echoplex. Uh, Melto Coria. And congas and percussion. This is another cheap, fantastic, killer record. And then last but not least, I've got a ton of Sun Ra. And Sun Ra and his orchestra is live at Montreux. And there's a theme here. Uh, when groups play at Montreux, they bring everything they have because it's the greatest single event every year in jazz um, in the world, um, in Switzerland. And uh, this is another... One that's no exception. Uh, this is on Inner City from Sun Ra. Um, this has got uh, We Traveled the Spaceways, which was one of my favorite favorite Sun Ra tracks. Um, on, the, on the fourth side, on this double record. Um, that's what I got. For Gimme Baker's Dozen Live 70s Jazz. Peace.